All right, I guess we're pulling. What's up? This is Jim Fro from Ready Check Pull, and this is the Need to Know Guide for Normal and Heroic Chad Hardy Insatiable. That name sucks, so we're just gonna call him Chad. This fight has the potential to be a YOLO fight, but we're gonna try to optimize it anyway. Chad's main mechanics change for each phase, so let's just start with phase one. Tanks will pull the boss to the middle of the room, while everyone else will spread out around the room. The room will occasionally spawn swirlies that erupt after a short time just like Volcanic and Mythic Plus. When the boss gets full energy, it'll target a player casting a conal breath with a wide radius. Obviously, you don't want to get hit by either of these abilities. Adds will spawn and fixate two random targets, exploding on contact for huge AoE damage. Those targets need to run away from the raid, preferably in different directions, so the adds explode doing less damage the further the adds are away from other players. While that's going on, the healers will also need to focus heal the debilitating spit targets. This dot starts off doing a lot of damage every second to a single player, but then it spreads to multiple other targets for half the damage each. For phase 2 at 66%, the tanks will want to keep the boss in the middle. The purple swirlies will no longer spawn and are replaced by purple orbs that need to be soaked. These purple orbs do massive damage to the entire raid if they're not soaked. When soaking, players will rapidly gain stacks of a debuff that does a lot of damage per stack. Multiple people will need to soak at the same time to reduce the amount of stacks each player receives. Personals are for sure going to be needed here. There might be orbs that need to be soaked in the same direction of a breath. Immunities can help mitigate the damage but does not remove the stack, so remember, keep these people healed when their immunity expires. At 33%, Phase 3 starts. Tanks will need to move the boss to the absolute edge of the room. You'll no longer have orbs to soak. Instead, there'll be a green pool in the middle of the room that slowly grows outward, acting as a hardened rage. You'll also have the breath and the fixate adds to deal with, so managing space is important. When the boss gets to 30%, it'll deal 25% increased damage. You'll want to save cooldowns and bloodlust to burn the boss as quickly as possible. Healers need to really watch debilitating spit targets, as well as the tanks. They'll be taking a ton of damage at this time. And that's the entire fight for Chad the Insatiable. We didn't mention the tank mechanic because it keeps changing, but it's probably some form of taunt swap. You can support us on Patreon and check out more videos at the Ready Check Pull YouTube channel.